Alright guys, welcome back to the Wet Mammal channel. We are back with episode 8 of the Undesirables and today we are going to be getting stuck into a... F can't even call it a fish. <laughs> um, it's a um, it's a strange creature that I don't think many people have considered shooting. Let's get stuck into it. The green moray eel. These creatures have honestly got to be one of the ugliest things that you can see in the ocean. You'll often find them with just their head sticking out a hole, much like this, and just mouth open. The moray eel is like that one mate who's just always up for a fight. You could go around your business, doing your own thing, being a nice chap, and this thing will want to fight you. They're quite aggressive. If you're going for craze, they will go for your hands and your fingers. They're very territorial little things. But um, you typically find them in weedy, kind of sandy reef areas. So they like a bit of ground to hide in. They're ambush predators and massive, massive scavengers. If you have a burly up or if you chuck your fish frames from a previous catch in the water, they'll often come out for it. So this is exactly what happened here. Dropped my blue moe frame and this eel came straight to it. You really, really want to shoot these guys in the head and ideally you want to shoot them dead. They're really well known for their jaw. They're incredibly powerful creatures, pretty much just muscle. And yeah, they'll constrict themselves on the end of your spear like this, which makes them A, hard to get off, B, hard to brain if you haven't already killed them. Really, if you are going for an eel, go for a headshot and make sure you kill it. Um, even when it's dead, it will still manage to do this demonic kind of knot on itself like a pretzel. This guy is nice and dead. I stabbed him in the head just to be sure. Truly one of the ugliest looking things in the ocean. Um, but incredibly cool creature all the same. I don't know too many funny nicknames for these guys, but um, it's an interesting one. It already smells pretty bad, and um, get a load of that. But today we're going to be looking at the green moray eel. <laughs> Why did I shoot this guy? Um, eel is quite popular in some parts of Eastern Europe. It's also very popular in Asia and places. Um, and yeah, in Australia we just seem to have forgotten about this this guy, so uh, we're going to get stuck into him. Pretty much just pure muscle, and I'm hoping he tastes very similar to the um, estuary cobbler that I got. So this is a green moray eel, and super common around Sydney, New South Wales. Um, yeah, I've seen them pretty much all, everywhere in New South Wales. I don't know too much about the distribution in other states, but let's go. So. I honestly don't know where to begin with this guy. I guess you kind of just start slicing into it. So. It's cold and slimy. But I saw one today and just thought, yep, he's coming home with me today. So, let's get stuck into it. Alright, so I'm just going to do what I think you should do because I have no idea on how to treat an eel. So... I presume you just kind of... Oh, the skin's pretty tough. Skin's really tough. Let's go. Some scissors. Okay, well, it's good news so far because of the flesh looks really, really white. In hindsight, I should have watched some YouTube videos before I got stuck into this. This is the best that I've got, and um, we've got a row of pin bones in here. An absolute horrible job fill it in by me, but um, yeah, we've got pin bones just running through 
here and I believe that's it so it's just that one row of bones and I think what we're going to do is just going to cut them up into more manageable pieces so just about that so that's the green moray fillet which I hope is just as easy which I hope is just as easy as which I hope is just as easy as slut going to remove the center bone line and hopefully it should be good. I'll whip the skin off. No, this isn't easy. So we'll just fill it like we would usually fill it. Probably at the sacrifice of some more eel meat. That runs off, Jesus. Look at how many bones it's got in there. That's crazy. Why so many bones, bro? We're gonna have like no meat on this. All right, so that's one tiny, tiny little strip of eel without any bones. The first of many. I imagine if I'd fillet this thing properly, or better, or knew how to fillet it, it wouldn't be that bad. All right, so I've saved the last fillet to show you guys how I've kind of worked out, how's best to get into it. And it's probably still completely wrong, but go in like that along the skin. all bones being cut through god damn it so many bones this thing has more bones than a sergeant baker let me tell you bones all right so here we have it this is the world's smallest yield and this is what we've got so so we've got our lovely more ale head and that's our yield that's the world's smallest yield. So that's the green moray oil butchered. And quite literally I butchered it. I didn't fill it yet. I absolutely made a mess of it. And there's a fair bit of waste. But I will use that on my next spearfishing trip. So it's not completely wasted. Um, as we do with all the undesirables. Let's go some sashimi shall we. So this is green moray eel sashimi. The flavour's not bad, but it's chewy as hell. Um, I'm not sure if that's because I put it on ice or... I don't know. I don't know anything about this thing. <laughs> um, flavour's not bad. Um, I'm not sure if it's a different type of eel, but when I used to eat commercially caught seafood, I actually used to quite enjoy eel. Um, that was very chewy. Hopefully, I'm going to put it in some eggs and just fry it off and see how it tastes. Um, but that wasn't particularly great. So, for taste, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. For texture, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10, a 2.5, 2 3 out of 10. And for effort to get that, yeah, it's not going to score too high, is it? There's a lot of bloody work and so many bones. I mean, I reckon that's got more bones than the Sergeant Baker. But, um, yeah, anyways, let's cook it. So... How's the crotch shot? I don't have a pair of scissors on me, so just whisk this up. 
in goes all that lovely white meat and we'll just mix that around in the eggy wash so now we'll just transfer the eel so let's use the this will be fun into there Alright, so here we have it. We've got our Kentucky Fried Eel. Who would have thought? Um, smells good. Looks good. Let's start off with a smaller bit first, eh? Mm. Okay, it's not chewy. That's actually pretty good. Um, let's uh, let's try another bit. Super white. Mm. It's pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's been coated in some flavour, my Kentucky Fried recipe mixture, but um. No, the, the fish itself is pretty good. It doesn't have much flavour to it. It's not like a fishy kind of fish. Um, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really taste of, of anything, come to think of it. It just tastes good. Given how chewy the sashimi was, I thought that this was going to be along the same sort of lines. It was going to be kind of real kind of like meaty texture. But it's not. It's It's like fluffy. It's not no texture, it's not like you're, yeah, eating a cloud, but I mean, <laughs> don't know who eats clouds, um, but it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, more ale, we'll get stuck into some more. Fiddle arsing around, trying to maneuver around all of those bones, um, that's going to bring it down. That was an absolute effort, a pain in the ass, and I wasted so much meat. If anybody knows ways that you can fillet an eel, a bit better than I did without butchering it and costing half your meat. Will I eat it again? Yeah, you know what? I probably would. Um, I'd like to know how to fillet this thing properly. I'm sure there's a way out there and um, try it again. It was, yeah, good eating. I'm, I'm pretty stoked with that. Alright, to summarise, I'm going to go for a 7 for flavour. doesn't taste like much, but it does taste good. So, earns a 7. Then we'll go 7.5 for the texture. It's nice, light, fluffy, yum. And then, yeah, the skin kind of... And it worked really, really well with my KFE. So that's Kentucky Fried Eel. Um, don't come after me, Colonel. It's my own thing. And, um... Having to work around and fill it all those bones and just waste a whole heap of meat, I'm going to peg it down to a 6. So overall, it's going to score a 6. And... If I knew how to fill it better, it's not my fault, so it's unfair for me to judge it like this. But yeah, if there is a quicker way to fill it, and a way to get rid of all those tiny little bones quickly, um, it would have stayed at a solid, solid 7, 7.5, somewhere in between. So there you go. That's the green moray eel. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And um, yeah, we'll do some more undesirables. This was really interesting to try out. Super slimy. Yeah, hectic on the, um, on the end of the spear. But there you go, another fish found to be okay. I'll give it an okay, a thumbs up. Not, not double thumbs, just one thumb, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to continue eating it, and that'll be that. But thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, do all the youtube -y stuff. Helps the channel grow. We're at 14,000 now. Yes, get in. It's so good. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Until the next time. Until the next time, stay wet, stay fed, catch ya.